Hi, I'm Imogen and this is my January currently reading. Because it's kind of ridiculous. Actually there's no kind of about it, it's really ridiculous. I wasn't short video to film today and I kind of came home and I was like oh no it's Saturday evening and I've not filmed anything. So I needed to film something try to upload every Sunday. No one's watched my last video but it's not an th immediate thing, you have to keep doing it. Today we're going for currently reading. There are a lot of books here, I'm just going to preface it with that. Um, I blame it on, I've never been someone who's read just one book ever in my life, even when I was really little. This month has been slightly chaotic and so was the last one because I just fi I finished applying to university on Thursday I sent my application form and it's Saturday now so the, it's been a bit mad and I've got various other school things going on so my attention span for one thing has not been very good so we've got multiple books here, all sorts of categories. So I'm going to start because on the top we have my own books because I've got a mix of library books, mix of fiction, non-fiction, my own books, things I've brought second hand, things I've bought new, things that are presents, some of my Christmas presents are in here. So yes, let's start with this one. Fiction. This is Broken Sky by L. A. Weatherly. He wrote who I bought this book a year I'm going for a year more than a year ago. I saw it in Waterstones in Canterbury and I thought it sounded really cool. The synopsis on the back gave me. Here it's Welcome to a Perfect World where war is illegal, where harmony rules, and where your date of birth makes your destiny but nothing is perfect and in a world this broken who can amity trust dun 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 set in a daring and distorted echo of 1940s america broken sky is an exhilarating epic of deception heartbreak and rebellion and on the front the tagline is trust no one i am 208 pages through i read those 208 pages in two days it's really good, it's really fast paced, Every, you want to read each chapter, I love it, it's really, I love the synopsis, it's so cool, and Amity, yeah, I kind of want to be her, she's a kick ass girl, and there's a cut, you get a few different points of view, but I won't, I, can't, I won't say who the other is, but this is, I'm loving this. I might read this this evening, probably read another 100 pages, because I seem, that's what I seem to be reading, about 100 pages, 90 pages at a time. It's really good. Okay, staying on the, on the theme of fiction, and yes, these do just have random post-it notes in it. This one's got this one's got some singers I wanted to listen to on it, as well as I think some maths and a library book reference. This is this was my when I was really stressed out book. This is a bit of like pure fun indulgence, and there's nothing hard about this. I'm on page fifty three. This is fresh from the country by Miss Reed. I picked this up in September at a massive second hand fair that happens in the town next to where I live and it's the story of a school teacher who is fresh who's grown up and lived in the countryside her whole life and she's gone to teach in a greater London school and it's just kind of fluffy and sweet and 
I know nothing, there's going to be no mortal peril, which is, for me, it's quite an achievement because I really love fantasy books. This is from 1960. Then, next one is a reread, Call Me By Your Name by Andre Asselman, which was recently adapted into to a film starring um, Timothy Chalamet and... I want to call him by his name. Army Hammer. I was about to call him Oliver, but that's his character in here. It's a summer romance between 17-year-old Elio and 24-year-old grad student Oliver on the Italian coast. And I really liked it. I borrowed it from the library. But I loved it, I went to the film, loved that as well. I wanted my own copy so I treated myself. I'm only on page 10 because I'm just letting myself read this section at a time. I'm drawing it out this time because last time I just flew through it. I want to prolong the pleasure and I love this book. Next, last for fiction. I have is The Beginning of the World in the Middle of the Night by Jen Campbell. It is a collection of short stories. I am um, halfway through. I think I've read maybe the first six or seven. I'm not quite sure how many are in there. I love them all so far. My favourite one is Little Deaths which is about ghosts and a world where ghosts are just floating around. Stories of family and magic, lost souls and superstition, spirits in jam jars, mini apocalypses, animal hearts and sideshows. Mermaids are on display in the local aquarium, a girl runs a coffin hotel on a remote island and a couple are rewriting the history of the world in the middle of the night. I love this. This was one of my Christmas presents. So thank you my sister, my sister for that one. No, my parents for this one. My sister got me another one that's in here. It's kind of weird, they're all kind of weird and you can tell like fairy tale aspects in them but they're, a lot of them about telling fair, telling stories. And some of them appear to be in quite a normal world but some of the ideas are a bit different. And yes, I really enjoy this. I might pick up, once I finish that, she's written some poetry. Okay, moving on to the next category, annuals. This was part of my reading goals for 2018. This is a massive 700 page, 600, 700 page annual from 1916. It's massive and some of, them, some of the pages have got gorgeous illustrations on them. I'm trying to read one a day, not succeeding at that, but this is really heavy so it can go over there. Whew. And then I have a second annual. This one was also a Christmas parents present. This is the girls annual, the first one. I own many others, I didn't own the first one so thank you. To my parents and I think my dad for finding this and I'm trying to read an annual a month which is again part of my reading resolutions for year. Not doing the best on that one either but I'm sure now that some of the madness has gone out of my life I'll get on to more of this. This is, this has got comic strips, short stories but also has um, small factual sections. That's I think the next one I'm about to read is a factual one. Yep. A story of Jeanette Altweg, Britain's Olympic gold medalist, a queen of the ice. I love these. I've got a whole collection, a lot of which I've read because every I used to buy them and read them immediately but not so much anymore so I'm trying to get through some of my backlog of them because they are so good and I love them. Then moving on to non-fiction which I own 
as I said, this is massive and this video is going to be really long. We have Blue Planet 2, which is given to me for Christmas by my grandparents. I've read the first chapter of this. It's a gorgeous book. It's got some absolutely gorgeous photography in it and pieces about this comes from the TV series. I just went all yellow. Hello. Why have I gone yellow? Okay, I just had to restart that bit, so I might be yellow in the last bit. Um, this comes from a BBC One programme narrated by David Attenborough that was on before Christmas and it's amazing. I have applied to go to study marine biology at university so this is the sort of thing that fascinates me and it contains all sorts of ideas that I would want to do with my life basically. I want to go and be the people that are in this book. So thoroughly enjoying that arranging my piles of books on my desk. Then we have the rest of the non-fiction that I own. This was a Christmas present for my sister and it's amazing. It's also a really beautiful book. Eleven Explorations into Life on Earth. Christmas Lectures from the Royal Institute. Um, the Royal Institute Christmas Lectures are a series of lectures that happen at Christmas given by leading scientists in their field. This year's was on language and communication. I don't know exact title but it was very good. I love these, we watch them every year. We always have. Apparently my dad introduced my mum to them when they first met. And Ever since then she's watched them and then when we were older we watched them as well. In particular these 11 are lectures about kind of not just like animals on earth but like how they work, like the systems that are in place. It might be communication, it might be movement, it might be how life evolved or what else was there? Oh, Disappearing Animals was one that was really interesting. I want to go and look up the person who talks about that because he talked about disappearing animals in the 30s, which is... I didn't know that was an idea in the 30s. So yes, this has been very interesting. If you are at all interested in biology and especially like natural biology, so out in nature, not human bio... This is not a human biology book at all, this is biology in nature you'd be really interested in this. I think it's fascinating. It's introduced me th to things I would never have thought about or been interested in before because I'm interested in marine biology, not necessarily all of the topics covered in this. But it's been really fascinating. I've read the first six. I'm about to, I've got into, the ne my next one is The Language of Animals by Sir David Attenborough, given in 1973. So this is quite fascinating. Still going, we have Hope in the Dark, Untaught Histories, Wild Possibilities by Rebecca Solnit. Based, I'll read you the back because I don't quite know how to describe it. It's about revolution and human power, like the public power that we have. At a time when political, environmental and social gloom can seem overpowering, this remarkable work offers a lucid, affirmative and well-argued case for hope. It traces the history of activism and social change over the past five decades. I think it's really interesting. I've... I know, I've dogged things. I know, I'm not meant to. I've read... I'm on page 46. I feel like... I've read more than 46 pages, there's been a lot of ideas in those 46 pages. I've really enjoyed it and once I finish this I might... I've got really itchy here. Once I finish this I think I will look up other works by this author. It's been really interesting and it's a topic 
I would never have originally looked at a new bookshop opened in the town next to where I live so books have been purchased and that was one of them it's been really interesting so far then I have The Unwomanly Face of War by Svetlana Alexievich this is the testimonies of Soviet women who fought on the front line during World War II and at a time they were actually written out of the official history of Russia and there are a million of them. I didn't know that. I did not know any women fought on the front lines, were on the front lines of World War II at all. So this is fascinating. It's very heavy. I'm on page 114. There's 340, 350 pages in here. It's very heavy. You can only read a bit at a time, but it's fascinating and it gives you a view of a piece of history I didn't even know existed. I'm so happy I was in Canterbury and I saw this cover and I thought oh that's kind of a cool cover and I read it on the inside and I was fascinated by it. So if you're at all interested in history or even so, so society or even feminism or women I would recommend this. I love her writing style, I've actually so much I reserved this book from the library which you can't see at all, it's Second Hand Time by Svetlana Alexievich, translated by Bella Shevich. This is massive, this does not look much bigger, this is 700 pages. I did not realise how big this was. but. I was, I loved her, like the stories that I was learning from this, I'd never learned about anything from that period of time, so I thought I'd try something else by her, but this is massive. And then the last non-fiction book that I own, this is going, this is a bit of half an hour video by the time done, it's Inferior by Angela Saini. What, how to describe this, this is looks at the theories behind the differences between men and women and looks at the science behind them and asks was it biased? and a lot of the time yes <laughs> start again scientists claim to have written the definitive account of us starting from the very dawn of evolution but this is not the whole story it's in it's, this is really interesting okay moving on on to library books i have a local library that i love and a lot of these books aren't actually from there they are books that i have ordered in because it's a great service if you live in the uk you should really look into it go to your library but also not might not not they might not necessarily have what you are looking for but depending, I assume it depends on where you live you can order books in from other libraries in the same county as you and for me it's free is Skyscraping by Cordelia Jensen it is a novel, it is written in verse it does not all look like that um, I have read this well, this is a reread. This is a book in 1973, New York City. The main character, Mira, is a senior year in high school. Everything's going great. She's going to go and apply to university. Her family's good. And then she comes home early from school and her ideas for her family are shattered. And this is about family, this is about dealing with grief, it's about dealing with change, it's about dealing with not being normal and having a normal family structure and having your views on the world that you held and you believed so true shattered in a minute and that effect it can have on the person, on their behaviour, on what they want in life and how they see the rest of the world around them. It is great. I think it made me cry last time I read, I read it. 
and I don't cry when I read books so I wanted to read it again. The next one, the opposite. This has taken me a long time. I'm only that far through. This is Eight White Nights by Andre Esselman. This is his other novel. He wrote Call Me By Your Name. I love that so much. I went to see if they like, the had any other books by him. It's taken me a while to read. His style is very descriptive and sometimes you don't quite know if what you think is happening is really happening for what's hanging in the character's head. This is... I'll just read you the back. I'm, try I'm trying to think of a concise way of explaining it, but... A man in his late twenties goes to a large Christmas party in Manhattan where a Roman woman introduces herself with three words, I am Clara. Over the following seven days they meet every evening in the snowy city. Overwhelmed yet cautious, he treads softly, but as they move closer together, this amorous dance builds towards a New Year's Eve charge of magic, the promise of renewal and love. Not the sort of book I would generally pick, I'd pick this up the library and read the blurb. I've never have read it, but I love Call Me By Your Name so much that I want to, and it is a gorgeous book. Not as easy to read, I would say, as Call Me By Your Name. And also some of the sections can be quite long, but you kind of you get swept up into this world and it's so beautiful and he writes such descriptive, so descriptive, it's gorgeous thing. Then the last one they have is Gina Reeves, The Collected Short Stories. I've only read the first. Two. I picked this up because there was another book by her that I have reserved at the library. What is it called? The Sargasson Sea? For one of the prompts for the Read Harder Challenge. But that was going to be a while. And I was looking up to see what else she had written. And this came up on the search. I thought it was going to be smaller because normally short story collections are quite little. And this is not short in any means. It's 300 pages long. Yeah, nearly 400 pages long. So, I've read the first couple. I've really enjoyed them so far. I'm interested to see what happens. See how I feel about the rest of them. Okay, last category. Non-fiction library books. I should really count how many books I've got here. I'll do that at the end. I've got one. My last fiction library book. A Single Man by Christopher Isherwood. I saw this on someone's video. Again, I've read the first 11 pages. A middle-aged professor living in California is alienated from his students by differences in age and nationality and from the rest of society by his homosexuality. Isherwood explores the depths of the human soul and its ability to triumph over loneliness, alienation and loss. Not quite sure I've made of it in the first 11 pages, but it's the first 11 pages. Moving on, we have, I just saw this in my library and I thought it was interesting. This is A Rebel Countess of Medieval England by Eleanor de Montford. No, Eleanor de Montford is the medieval princess by... Louise J. Wilkinson. I'm about 20 pages into this. Wasn't so short at the beginning, it was kind of a bit dense and wordy. But I'm, the more I've read, the more I've got into it. I think because I understand who the people are that in context. This is a part of history I am very interested in. But I never learned about in school. Then we have this one, this big chunky one, The Origins of Sex, A History of the First Sexual Revolution by Farrah Mares de Poewala. I just butchered their surname and it's literally what it's talking about, a history of the sexual revolution, the fact that Sex was not private, it was a societal thing and the different um, expectations there were of men and women and how they interacted. I am on page 37, which is... I've read the prologue. But it's been 
really interesting so far because again I, I'm always up for a good bit of social history. Then the last one is A Woman Looking at Men Looking at Women by Siri Hastavet. Again, butchering surnames. This again is much bigger than I expect when I reserve it from the library because I never look at page count to tell you how many pages they are. I've only read the introduction so I can't tell you anything. It's written nicely. That's about all I can say about the actual contents. In this trilogy of works collected in a single volume, Hestavet brings a feminist interdisciplinary perspective on a range of subjects. The subtitles are A Woman Looking at Men Looking at Women, which is, I assume is going to literally be about that, and then The Delusion of Certainty and What We Are. Pretty rubbish one to end on because I don't really know what it is, but it's on the bottom it says essays on art, sex and the mind. It, it will be interesting. It was massive, this might have been 30 plus minutes. Because it's 21 minutes now and I had to change it because I went all orange. And I can tell I've been talking for that long, I do not talk for that long in one go. I feel a bit croggy now, croaky. So yes, that's what I'm reading. Look at it all now in front of me. I'm like, how are you reading that much? I don't know. I just do, and I do, and before you ask, I do know what's happening in it all. It's a talent. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to probably. Go and put my onesie on and sit in bed with any number of these books. So, how many am I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-